What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're going to be talking about a feature that a lot of people seem to have forgotten is a part of One UI 6.1. I've been seeing a lot of comments saying that one feature that they should bring to One UI with the next version is app locking. Well, Samsung already has a version of app locking. I've talked about it on the channel before. It was a long time ago though. So I want to remind people that this feature is there in One UI 6.1. If you've never used it before, maybe show it to you for the first time. It's called app pinning. I'll show you guys how to use it. Make sure you can keep your nosy friends and people out of stuff when you hand them your phone just to check something out. They go looking through other stuff, very annoying. So we'll talk about that today. Before we get started, do I thank my three-year-old son, Jonathan, for giving us some animals and dinos to hang out in the video. We've got the elephant over here, and we have the Lego, the Riznosaurus that we put together here, with these nice claws, long claws. Always appreciate my three-year-old son for giving us some toys to hang out in the video. Also, if you wanna save some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my friends and partners over at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just $15 a month, and right now, one of the best deals I've ever seen them have, they have all of their plans at $15 a month, including the unlimited plan, which is 50% off the usual price. In addition to that, if you purchase any plan right now, uh, this is a limited time offer, uh, during the promo period, you're gonna get six months of the Paramount Plus Essentials Bundle on Mint Mobile, which means you'll be able to use Paramount Plus Essentials for six months with your Mint Mobile plan. Fantastic deal. Not only do you get great service, but you also get this bonus Paramount Plus Essentials plan. Now, Mint has a bunch of different plan options. I've talked about them before. They got a five gig plan, 15 gig plan, 20 gig plan, and the aforementioned unlimited plan. Usually these plans have different prices, but during this promo, all of them are $15 a month. So the unlimited plan is really the best value, of course. Um, they, with all the plans, you get a limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. You get either an eSIM or a physical SIM, whichever one you prefer or your phone supports. Uh, we've had great service here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. If you guys want to give Mint a try, go to trymintmobile.com slash Springer. It's my link. It's up here in the pinned comment description as well. Again, 50% off this unlimited plan, plus the six months of Paramount Plus Essentials during this limited time offer is an amazing deal. Hope you guys will take advantage of it. We do appreciate men for being partners on the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about pinning your Samsung apps. So Samsung pinning apps is basically an app lock situation where you can restrict people from going any other app on your phone when you hand it to them to maybe check something really quickly, etc. So let's go in and talk about how this works. If you go into the settings in One UI 6.1 or other versions, actually, this has been around for a while, scroll down and find security and privacy. Once you're inside security and privacy, you can see I got some yellow stuff. This is mainly because I signed to my Samsung account on so many different devices. Samsung thinks that's suspicious. Scroll down to where it says more security settings. Tap on that. So a lot of stuff in here, which I plan to cover a little bit more in depth in some other videos as well. Down here at the bottom, it's right at the bottom, pin app. Now this is turned off by default. This actually will enable you, if you tap on it, to get some instructions on how to do it. And you also have this option down here, which we'll talk about. It says, pin an app to the screen to prevent others from accessing features outside of the pin app. When an app is pinned, features such as calling and messaging are blocked, so they can't use your call or message features to text someone or something, call them. Turn on pin app, open an app, tap the recents button, or if you're using gesture, swipe it from the bottom, and I'll show you this. Tap the icon above the app, then select pin this app. Now, the real key thing to turn on, if you're gonna use this feature for security purposes or for privacy when you hand someone your phone, is to turn on ask for pattern before in pinning. This means that someone will need to put in your pin pattern or fingerprint your biometrics once they try to unpin the application because otherwise they could just unpin it if they know how to do it, if they're familiar with Samsung phones, and then they could just go and get into whatever it is they want. So of course, it's really important to turn that on. So I'll show you how this works. If I wanna hand someone my phone and I want to maybe just let them look at my Instagram, you can tap on the Instagram icon. I go ahead right in here to where it says pin this app. And now it says unpin, swipe, and hold. So this is my Instagram. They can browse my Instagram all they want, but if they try to swipe home to go into other applications, they're not gonna be able to. So in order to unpin the app, once they hand the phone back to me, or if they wanted to, they could try, they can swipe up and hold. But once they swipe up and hold, they're gonna have to either put in my pattern or put in my fingerprint. Once they do that, then the application will be unpinned. I can go back to the home screen or anywhere else that I want in the phone. But again, if you don't turn on the option to make them put your pattern in, well, then they're automatically gonna be able to unpin it and it kind of gives them instructions on how to do it, which completely would defeat the purposes of using this feature. Now, one other thing I wanna show you guys while we're in there, 
The pinning app feature is really cool, but if you go back into security and privacy, and of course I scrolled past it, I always do, go back into more security settings. This other option at the very bottom, I don't think I'll make a separate video on this, but I did want to mention it. Galaxy system app updates. This basically says here, updates from Samsung will automatically be installed to improve security and performance or to add new features. Your phone must be rebo rebooted to apply this change. So if you want to turn this on, you can make sure that all of your Galaxy apps from the Galaxy store will then get updated. You can also hit this check for update button and you can even see all the Galaxy system apps. So you see here, Android off, biometrics, biometrics fingerprint, camera, Android lifeguard, Android shell, all these ones that are serviced by Samsung, which are background apps, they're not really user-facing apps like we talk about a lot of times on the channel that we update in the Galaxy Store, but you really do want to have this on because a lot of these things, particularly biometrics data, some of these security features, you want them to be upgraded in the background. You don't have to worry about manually doing that. Anyway, I haven't really talked about it on the channel before, but since that's there right next to the pen app, I figured I would mention it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you find the pen app feature useful. I know it's not a full app lock in the sense that some other devices have out there, other manufacturers, but it is a very useful feature uh, if you hand your phone to others very often. Again, check out my partners at Mint Mobile. If you want to save some money on your wireless, get this amazing deal. Try mintmobile.com slash Springer to check it out. Not only 50% off the unlimited plan, but you get that six months of Paramount Plus Essentials on Mint Mobile during the limited time offer. Appreciate you guys watching this video. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.